hello students welcome back so next move we'll move on to the next derivation that is shape function for three noted bar element or it is also called as quadratic bar element so you have to be very careful in the exam the question might be asked like a three noted bar element or a quadratic bar element okay so you have to understand the right thing and then write the proper derivation so earlier we have discussed linear element so now we'll discuss quadratic bar element so it's a quadratic bar element or a three noted bar element so we have three nodes one two and three so we have three nodes and two elements one and two these are the two elements we have this is first element and this is second element and we are deriving it in the natural coordinate system that is in the zeta coordinate since it's in one dimensional we have only zeta coordinate system okay we have only zeta so now since it's a three noted bar element as i've said you in the natural coordinate system zeta always varies from minus one to plus one okay in the natural coordinate system i repeat zeta always varies from minus one to plus one so since it is this is minus one and this is plus one in between the node three will be zero this is clear now one and two are the primary nodes three the secondary nodes that is fine now consider a three noded bar element in natural coordinate as shown okay so to derive the shape function consider the lagrangius polynomial so we have the general expression that is the lagrangius polynomial as we have discussed we have ni of zeta is equals to pi j is equals to 0 to n and i should not be equals to j zeta minus zeta j divided by zeta i minus zeta j okay where i is equals to 1 2 3 up to the nth node and n is the number of nodes in an element which number of node in an element now for for this element we have n is equals to 3 n is up to the nth nth node so in this how many nodes we have 1 2 and 3 nodes so here n will be equals to and in that three nodes let us consider the node one first so when we consider the node one first we have at node one for i is equals to one at node one i is equals to one so n one is equals to substitute uh, uh, write the lagrangian uh, function for the uh, for the first node considering the first node considering i is equals to 1 so this is general expression so in the general expression for this element if you write the Lagrangian function you will have you will have like this okay so you will have like this n1 is equals to because i is equals to and n1 is equals to zeta minus zeta 1 Three, three nodes 1 2 and 3 so you have to write for all the three zeta minus zeta 1 zeta minus zeta 2 then zeta minus zeta 3 all divided by in the denominator what is what do you have zeta i what is i 1 so zeta 1 minus so whatever you have in the numerator that is j will be there in the denominator so zeta minus zeta j is 1 here so zeta i is 1 so zeta 1 minus zeta j is 2 here so the j will be 2 here then zeta 1 minus zeta 3 so as i have explained in the previous derivation you can see here so if i write all for all the three nodes for i is equals to 1 when i write for all the three nodes I'll get in the general expression j should not be equals to i. Can you see here this is j and this is i. It is equal. Okay. So this term should not be there. Is this clear? So for n1 you will be left out with only 2 and 3. Zeta minus zeta 2 and zeta minus zeta 3. So this is the best way to remember that is when you are writing for the first node skip that particular node and then write the rest two. For example when you are writing for the node one skip this one and write the formula for these two nodes. This is clear. Very simple way to understand and remember. So that is what it is written directly here. 
so zeta minus zeta 2 into zeta minus zeta 3 divided by zeta 1 minus zeta 2 zeta 1 minus zeta 3 this is clear so now I think you will be uh, more clear about this expression so n1 is equals to substitute the values now zeta 2 zeta 3 and zeta 1 values keep on substituting it zeta minus zeta 2 is what is zeta 2 is plus 1 so when you substitute zeta 2 here, you will have minus 1 here because there is a negative sign here. Then zeta minus zeta 3. Zeta 3 is 0 and zeta 1 is minus 1. So zeta 1 is minus 1. Similarly, substitute zeta 2 value, zeta 1 value and zeta 3 value. Simplify it. In the denominator you will have 2 and in the numerator you will have zeta minus 1 into zeta. So n1 will be zeta into zeta minus 1 divided by 2. Similarly, for i is equals to 2. Similarly, for i is equals to 2. N2 is equals to. So, you are writing for the second node. We are writing for the second node. When you are writing for the second node, what does the simple way? Skip the second node term and write the formula for this 2. So, your equation will be zeta minus zeta 1 into zeta minus zeta 3. Zeta minus zeta 2 will not be there because if you write zeta minus zeta 2 then j will be equals to i. Okay. So, you will have zeta minus zeta 1 into zeta minus zeta 3 divided by zeta 2 minus zeta 1 because i is equals to 2 here that is zeta i minus zeta j. So, zeta 2 minus zeta 1 into zeta 2 minus zeta 2 my zeta that is zeta i minus zeta j. So, zeta 2 minus zeta 3. This is clear. So substitute the same zeta values, zeta 1, zeta 2 and zeta 3 values like you substituted in the above uh, equation. Zeta 1 is minus 1 so that becomes plus 1, zeta 3 is 0, zeta 2 is plus 1, zeta 1 is minus 1 so it becomes plus 1. Substituting it you will have in the denominator as 2 so it is uh, zeta plus 1 into zeta divided by 2. That is what you get for N2. Okay. So there are three nodes, three nodes n is equals to three. So uh, we are done with one, we are done with two and we will be writing for n3 now. So we have to write for n3. So for i is equals to three, n3 is equals to zeta minus zeta two into zeta minus zeta one divided by zeta three minus zeta two into zeta three minus zeta one. So you can see here I am writing for the node three and I do not have zeta three term in the numerator understood so just i'll be writing zeta minus zeta 2 zeta minus zeta 1 and i'll be not writing zeta minus zeta 3 because if you write zeta minus zeta 3 j will be equals to i which does not satisfy the equation so in the denominator uh, the first term is i so zeta 3 and zeta 3 because i'm writing for third node then the second term will be same as the first term that is j j j j so here it is 2, so 2. Here it is 1, it does 1. This is clear. So now in the next uh, in the next equation, substitute the values of zeta 2 and zeta 1 and zeta 3. So zeta minus zeta 2. So zeta uh, zeta 2 is minus uh, sorry plus 1. So here it will be minus 1 and zeta 1 is minus 1, so it becomes plus 1. In the denominator zeta 3 is 0, zeta 2 is uh, plus 1, so, so here it becomes minus 1. 0 and plus 1. So this is a minus b into a plus 2 is nothing but a square minus b square and the denominator you have uh, minus 1. Okay. So n3 will be equals to uh, negative sign goes uh, if you multiply with the negative sign you will have uh, 1 square ma 1 minus zeta square divided by 1 that is n3. Okay. So now variation of shape function. So variation of shape function. So you, we have uh, three here, three nodes. So you have to write for three terms, that is three shape functions. Okay. For node one, this is for node two, and this is for node three. Mm -hmm. Just write this uh, three noded uh, bar element one, two, and three. Similarly, one, two, and three. Similarly, one, two, and three. Three noded bar element. So for node one, 
according to the property of the shape function at node 1 uh, when you are writing for the node 1 shape function uh, it is maximum at the node 1 and it is 0 at the other nodes so I am writing for node 1 n1 is equals to 1 and at node 2 drops down uh, node 3 drops down to 0 write a smooth curve to 2 you cannot write a straight line since it is 0 just for the representation write a smooth curve to 2 similarly when you are writing for the uh, node 2 at node 2 it is maximum so n2 will be 1 and drop down to 0 at the other nodes that is node 3 it is 0 similarly draw a smooth curve to 1 this is n2 and n2 is 1 here similarly for node 3 at node 3 it is 1 when you are writing for node 3 third node it is maximum and at the other node so drop down to 0 this is how you do it for this is how you do it for uh, this is how you do it for three nodal bar element or a quadratic bar element.